we are going to be making some ammo for my brand new pellet gun. This thing is amazing. It's a 357, and uh, right here are actually some pellets. It's uh, basically a 9mm pellet, and it goes in here, and it shoots. And it shoots very powerfully. This is a Air Force Texan SS 357. Very beautiful gun, high power. It's called a uh, big bore air gun. Let's make some ammunition, and then I will announce who the winners are on this silver bar. So, and if you don't want to watch me uh, make some ammo for my pellet gun, you can just skip ahead and see who the winners are. We're giving these bad boys away today. 10 ounces each. We're giving them to two different people. Uh, this is going to be awesome, so stay tuned. I got my scale here to uh, get the perfect grains. So we're going to make a couple uh, round balls, see how many grains they are, and we're going to shoot it and see how well they perform. If they perform well, I'm just going to make my own to shoot and plink around the house. Obviously, I do have some you know, bigger, uh, better pellets from JSB. So let's see if the lead is hot enough. That'll let me make a couple round balls here. Uh, caliber 357. Let's open it up. Come on, fill up, fill up. All right, let's go to the next one. Um, if it's hot enough, uh, there we go. All right, let's uh, break it open. Let's see what it did. Hmm, yeah, they're not uh, completely uh, round yet. All right, I think I got it figured out. It was plugged, so I uh, I unplugged it, and let's see. Yeah, that'll be good. These are, uh, these are good. Okay. All right, we'll continue making some more. Let's get this. All right. So what I'm doing here is I'm just uh, basically shaving off where the uh, mold left a little imprint in the ball here. I'm just shaving that down, just taking small little uh, flakes off of there just to get that little, just to make this thing nice and round. Um, some of these have a little bit of imperfections, but it's still weighing uh, 76.4 grains. Uh, let's do this one. And let's, let's uh, check the grains on this one. Let's, uh, if we can get it uh, fairly close, then uh, I, you know, I'm happy with it. Here we got 76 point, 76.4. Um, so get that off of there. We got 76.1. So it's fairly consistent, uh, to be honest. I'm going to make 50 rounds. We're going to go out and shoot my air rifle. Um, and then uh, we're going to see how consistent these are. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, you know, I'm obviously not a professional at this. I'm just doing what I uh, have, you know, in front of me, uh, my resources that I have. You know, I obviously this is pretty important to get the grains right. Okay, we're outside now. I did mold uh, 50 rounds of that round ball and uh, came to find out, I came outside, tried to fit one in the gun and it doesn't fit. It is caliber 357, but for some reason, um, it's just too large. So I think I need to mold 356 because the round balls are just a little bit too big. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, shooting my JSB Exact 35 Diablo uh, pellets and we're gonna be shooting it at 50 yards. 
and I might try to shave off a couple of these round balls and try to fit them in there just to see how they shoot. All right, we're going to be uh, shooting downrange 50 yards. We're going to zero it in at 50, and I have an app on my phone for the ballistics uh, so I can know. But I, I just want to check it out, see if it works with these pellets, my ballistics. I'm going to Florida uh, to hunt some hogs, and then I just want to see how my app works, make sure everything's working fine before we head out there so um too bad i can't shoot my round balls that sucks but we're still gonna shoot it for you guys for a little bit and then uh we'll uh let you guys go looks like i shot a little bit high i think so we're gonna dial it down and over we're going to uh make sure the air pressure stays around the same so we can be shooting more consistently and what it, what you do is you basically just very easy to do you just plug this into here and you open up the valve for a little bit until you get the, the desired air pressure that you want um, very simple to do so very handy but it's it's key to stay consistent when you're uh, zeroing in your rifle uh, your air gun so you know exactly where it shoots every time and then you can use the app and to be more uh, accurate like that so all right looks pretty good let's go check it out so i just shot the uh the last three groups, uh, the last three shots that I just shot were at 100 yards was here, here, and here. So not too bad of a group. Um, I did I actually did a group. I, I did a five shot group here. Actually, it was a six shot group, and uh, I hit th within four inches. If you look here, um, so it was uh, these two shots, then this, and then these three which the wind is a little bit uh, kind of tricky today. So but that's not too bad, 100 yards. I know I can do better than that, but um, I am kind of disappointed that the round balls didn't work. I worked hard to make those, but I guess so is it. Uh, I'm just going to get a different mold. I'm going to try it again. I almost didn't post this video, but I was like, you know what? Um, who cares? Yeah, if you found it interesting, leave a comment down below. I have one more surprise for you guys. Uh, it's not really a surprise, but I have one more thing for you guys. Uh, I want you guys to take a look at this. If I can find something to open it. This is a nibble remover. All right. It opens boxes. Okay, so what I got, I just want to do a, a quick thank you to Ericon Depot for sending me out the ammo. I got 400 rounds of the Benjamin 25 caliber. We got my... Uh, Role model Jim Shockey on there, uh, Benjamin. Very, uh, very happy with these pellets. My Benjamin Gunnar. It, this, these are uh, the favorite pellets of my Benjamin Gunnar. I mean, this this gun really loves these pellets. These are actually for my other gun. Um, and these here, I got the two more tins of the thirty-five cal for this. Um, you just can't get enough pellets. And I uh, got me another round of the polymags. I'm, I'm telling you, this gun right here loves the polymax the best i'm i don't know why but it just shoots the best but and these are good hunting pellets as well these are two but it just shoots a little bit nicer i haven't shot uh the benjamin nosler uh these are 357 145 grain hunting pellets i mean these are almost a dollar a round so for 25 of these it's like 25 dollars but even with these i got over 500 rounds of pellets for under uh for around 140 dollars shipped to my house um, Aragon Depot, uh, the best place to buy your ammo and your guns. I'm not sponsored by Aragon Depot, but Aragon Depot, hint, hint, if you know what I mean. Very cool. Uh, I, if I order something from uh, Aragon Depot, I literally have it the next day. It's that easy. And I like how these things were packaged. Uh, they were packaged very well so they don't uh, bump into each other and bend each other up. But take a look at these large hunting pellets. These things are great. Take a look at that. We got the ballistic tip there. They're they're really heavy. I mean, these are very nice. Can't wait to shoot a haul with this. So if you guys aren't subscribed yet, please subscribe because you're going to love my next video. You're going to love what's coming to the channel. 
Uh, I'm just starting out. This is, I'm, I never thought I would grow as large as I have by now. Uh, I think I'm sitting at 260,000 subscribers as I'm making this video. And that's just insane to me. It's insane. Thank you guys for entering the giveaway when I hit 200,000 subscribers. And when we hit 300,000 subscribers, we're going to do another giveaway. Don't know what it's going to be yet, but we're going to do something. So uh, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate every one of you guys. And uh, subscribe. I'll try to keep you guys entertained. Don't know how. Ciao.